Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It's Friday, November 11th, Veterans Day. On this day in history and the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the people at war during World War I, Germany, United States, European powers, signed the Armistice. So otherwise known as Armistice Day, but now it's Veterans Day. A little history lesson for everyone. Miss Jeffries, you can check my historical facts on that with the students. Have a wonderful day today, and for lunch, oh, first, Pledge of Allegiance. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, everybody, on this Veterans Day, we're having the Mr. Craft Special, Stromboli, Hash Browns, California Vegetables, Pears, and a Milk. Happy Real Birthday. To the Sneedley Whiplash. Sneedley? Nothing says Sneedley Whiplash, Dayton Sneedlin, like Stromboli. So I hope you enjoy your Stromboli Sneed. Hope you actually eat it. I know you're kind of picky about stuff like that. So anyway, have a great birthday, buddy, um, on this Veterans Day. Afternoon snack. No afternoon snack today because we did it yesterday because today we're heading up to the Veterans Day Parade at 1.10. So what will happen is at 1.10 I'll come on the uh, intercom and I will ask you to get your coats on and all that good stuff. You're going to stay with your teachers, 6th grade teachers, fan out, maybe help Mr. Kraft because he'll have a bigger group. And um, we will go out uh, the 6th grade band doors. We will go up the street over here. I think it's uh, 16th maybe or 15th. I'm not sure. 16th. To the stoplight and then when the stoplight turns green we will cross and nobody can walk in front of me everybody has to be behind me miss robeson will be in the back okay and everybody stays behind me and then if the light would turn red i'll have one of the sixth grade teachers stand there and wait for it to turn green again i think in two crossings we should be able to get everybody across pretty easy all right so be real careful crossing the street that's the most dangerous part of our trip then we'll line Stone Street. Teachers, spread yourselves out with your classes along Stone Street. Keep all the middle school uh, kids together. I hope you brought warm clothes. It's going to be 33 for a high, but it will be sunny at least. Um, probably a little windy, so it's going to be chilly up there. Um, so make sure you got that. If you are somebody like uh, Corbin Keeker, who's got crutches, you can stay back with Miss Jeffries. Um, I've got a few other students staying back. And then anyone who is dressed inappropriately um, for the weather we'll stay back with Miss Jeffries. Otherwise, the rest of us will be going up there. We should be back here, I don't know, probably by 2 o'clock, I would guess. And then you'll go back to your fifth period class, and then I'll dismiss you once you all are settled into your fifth period class to go to sixth period, I believe it'll be. Sixth or seventh, depending on what time we get back. All right. With that, our AOK -okay of the day is going from Miss Sullivan out to Calix Ewing. He's always eager to help a peer with academic work. He readily accepts any opportunity to engage in peer mentoring and leadership. Thanks for helping maximize learning, Calix. I appreciate you. Great job, Calix. Thank you, Miss Sullivan, for submitting that. And now it is time for our words of wisdom, which are about Veterans Day. Today is Veterans Day, a national holiday just to remember veterans of our military services. Why should we honor this day? The men and women in our military are the ones who keep this country free and strong. Many people in our military have lost their lives. Those who didn't took that risk. Some of the most dangerous occupations in the country are in the military, and anyone in the service, in the service is subject to being sent to war for our country. Please listen to these words from President George W. Bush. In these difficult days here in America, I ask all of us children and adults to remember the valor and sacrifice of our veterans. American veterans have extraordinary stories. We should listen to them and we should learn from them. Take some time today to think about the veterans and the sacrifices they have made to preserve your freedoms. Think about all the young people who have friends and family members in the military. They are also making sacrifices, so please join me in thanking them. I think this is a super important message, guys. Um, I'm telling you, our veterans, they need, they need your support, they need your help, they need your thanks, because I just saw this morning on the news that in all the wars in the last 20 years, we've lost 7,000 military people um, over, like fighting in war. But what's scary is almost four times that, like over 20,000 of our military 
servicemen have died and women have died by suicide. And so we need to take care of our veterans. And unfortunately, in this country, very few people actually serve the country. Everybody wants to throw up a flag on the 4th of July and claim they're a patriot. But when you look at the number of people who have actually served their country in some form, whether military or anything, AmeriCorps, Peace Corps, just not much. And I think that's sad. Um, so since I'm an educator, I can ask all of you, be thinking about your future. Try to find a way to serve your country in some way. It doesn't have to be the military. There's lots of ways to do it. Um, but earn your, earn your citizenship. Too many of us have not. And then don't really appreciate it. So tell a veteran thank you today if you get a chance. And you're going to see some today. So tell them thanks. They're heroes. And they're the reason why you have this great school and all the great things that you have in your life. So it's something to think about. To Mr. Banger, make it a great day or not. That choice is always yours. I will see you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend and stay warm, everybody.